What did you guys think about the show overall? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Who wants to go first? I'm gonna go first. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Was that it? That's basically it. I love Selena Gomez, so I knew I was gonna like it anyways. Steve Martin and Martin Short. I mean, I've seen some of their stuff. They're funny. I'm really into mysteries, but I can't watch any gore or like, like. Huh? Help me out. Like, I can't watch any like. Things with blood. Yeah, like I can't watch anything. She doesn't like seeing actual murders. Violence. Who likes to see actual, like, psychopaths? I don't stomach those things very well, so this was perfect for me, but I like the mystery. So you like, like, children's mystery type of books? <laughs> I thought it was pretty decent. It kept me interested for the entire series. I thought the script was decent. Wait. For a Hulu show. Can I talk? <laughs> <laughs> but the characters were uh, good. They were hilarious. They were believable they were, in some way. They were very New York. Yes, that's always a plus in my book. Oliver, uh -huh. just like the first scene he was in, and the car was about to like hit him when he was like crossing the street, yeah. and he started yelling at the car. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's my grandma. Smacking the table. First episode, the scene where he was like, hold the elevators, and Charles like press close the elevators. Yeah, you have so to. New York. You have to. I don't think most elevators like ha have that uh, button actually functional. Because, because we <laughs> abuse it? Yeah, I don't think it actually works. It's a psychological thing. Yeah. I thought it was entertaining. I mean, it's about like 20, 30 minutes per episode for 10 episodes, so it's digestible. I think as a mystery, plot it was a little weak it could have presented itself better it started mind. off strong it started off strong i just wish it didn't end the way it did the script was not as uh good as i would have wanted for a mystery when you say the script i think you mean like the the, uh, the, I plot. Guess the plot the plot yeah because yeah, yeah. i thought the script was good i think the script for a comedy was, the script was good the script it's, yeah it's uh it's I good writing it's, it's targeting it's, writing. Uh, it's targeting it's targeting me i think it's targeting a younger crowd mm -hmm. and yeah. i am younger than you guys yeah <laughs> mm, you're almost i'm younger the than same you. age it was entertaining but i would have watched something else i thought it was very interesting how they casted two old guys and Selena Gomez. I, I thought it was really smart. If they didn't have her, I honestly, like I probably wouldn't have watched it. It was interesting to see that it worked though. Yeah, no. I thought it made it realistic. Yeah. Oh really? So how many 28 something like year olds you know that hang out with 70 year old men solving this, murder This mysteries? seemed like This a, is realistic. This seemed like it took place in the Upper West Side where there's like these apartments where there's a very rich people so they're probably old people. Yeah. And then there is maybe young people that have inherited the apartments. If you just heard the idea, it's kind of like that wouldn't work. But or then, the way you explain it, two old guys and a young girl. But that's what it was. <laughs> that's what it was. But yeah, like, okay. no, but it was hilarious. The one scene where he, he was, um, Charles was like, did you check the internet um, on Tim Kono? And Mabel was like, yes. And he was like, you checked all the websites. She said, I checked all the websites. Mm -hmm. He was like, I guess we're done. <laughs> that cracked me up. And then the texting, the like greetings or, or, or like, what did he end up? He ended up going with Aloha. Mm. That was hilarious. I think you should say more because you're the only one that didn't really like it. It's not that I didn't like it. I just, uh, you know, it wouldn't be my go-to show. I, I think you're used to more like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> What she meant was like more thriller, drama type of mysteries. Yeah, a little more depth. <laughs> Did you just call me shallow? More layers. Did you just call me shallow? <clears throat> there were layers in this one. Sure, yeah. but it was like two layer onion. We're looking for like a yeah. hundred layer. I have to keep in mind that it is more of a comedy. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's what makes it different. I love that it's a comedy. Yeah, I know. And I guess I don't. Okay, let's... Yeah, it has more of a Wes Anderson type of feel. I it. don't know who that is. It's like the guy who made the Budapest Hotel. 
I feel like Knives Out was a little bit similar to that too. Like oh, yeah. they, they mixed in a little bit of I, comedy. I liked this way better than Knives Out. Knives Out was a little intense. Okay, I was gonna me. say I like Knives Out more than this. Yeah, well, d d different strokes for different folks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It was basically a social commentary of, you know, different class structures. Knives Out, I'm talking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sure, That sure, was the sure. underlying theme. Yeah. This no. didn't really have that underlying theme. This is just like, I guess it's just a mystery. Here's this. Yeah. But even the mystery part, it, it, it was like the plot <laughs> progression was a little bit weak. But it was easy to watch. It's easy to watch, yeah. I would say it's like a Nagatoro. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything with Selena Gomez in it is easy to watch. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> my my eyes were happy! Okay, sure. I'm talking about the plot. Like, I'm not that invested. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, it didn't kill me to know, like, who did it. If you read a mystery book, it wasn't like, I have to finish this, like, by, like, yeah. you know, the time. Yeah, I like, you're to dying to know the who's the actual killer. Yeah. But in this one, it's just like, oh, I guess the next episode, it could be like a guy, a homeless guy on the street. It was like, okay, the next episode is going to somehow tie, you know, some other guy or some other woman. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, that's something I thought too, right? But then I went back and I looked and they actually introduced Jan. Yeah. Episode three or four. Yeah, but like I was watching the scenes with you a little bit. There, there's not that many hints. Okay, well, uh, we're, we're getting into it. Okay. We're getting into okay. this part, but... Like visually... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let's 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 just go to the next part because we're we're getting to it. What did you guys think about the ending? And when did you guys know that Jan was the murderer? 